Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all ages, how are you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download too many items for 1.7.9. Now, without further ado, there's a couple things I want to clarify that you're going to need for this mod. You're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I, on the hand, do not have the downloads for these, so I'm sure you guys can go out there and find them. I don't know if they're free or not. I have it, but I don't know. It's changed, and that's one thing. Also, you're going to need this notepad or some type like that, some sort of program like that, so you can do a little bit of editing. And so, I believe that's everything. You're going to need notepad, 7-zip. You're going to need Minecraft, of course, and without further ado, you're also going to need the mod. So in the link below, down in the description, I have put up this link, or you can go up here into Google, type too many items, and it's your very first link. But you're going to want to click on this 1.7.9 non-forge version. Click on that bad boy, and it's going to come to an ad fly. Now, if you had ad blocker, if you have that open, it is not going to work. So you're going to want to disable ad blocker. And then up in here in the top right, it's a skip ad. You're going to click that. And then down here in the left, it's going to have your mod. So you can just click that and drag that down to your desktop so that you have it on your desktop. And you can exit out of your internet provider. Okay, so now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your Minecraft. And once you've got your Minecraft launcher all opened, it's going to take a sec. Usually mine does. I don't know how your guys' does. But it seems whenever I'm recording, it just takes a really long time. Okay, there we go. So it says ready to play. I have already downloaded it. If it says download, you got to make sure that you play the game at least once so that the files can be generated. So without further ado, we're going to go edit profile. And we're going to go to open game directory. So you click on that. Or you can come over here to your run. And you can click percent app data percent and click OK. And then it's your very first one. It says Minecraft. So see, we're on the same place either way, which way you go. But those are just two easy ways. Now, under your Minecraft, you're going to want to go to versions. And right now, I just recently cleared out all my Minecraft. So I only have 1.7.9 and the latest snapshot. But we're going to go here. And you're going to want to co copy and paste. Here, we're going to go paste. So now you have this 1.7.9 copy. So this is just if you say you didn't want the mod anymore, you could just delete the other one, and then you have this one as a backup so you don't have to re-download everything. But for right now, we're going to go to this top one, the one we haven't copied yet, and go right-click. Ooh, that was my phone. Sorry about that. You're going to go right-click, and then it says rename. So right down here it says rename. You're going to want to name this underscore capital T O O M A N many items I all the items too many items and then you're gonna copy all the way up so from the underscore to the S on items and hit enter so once you got that done it should move it below the copy one and you're gonna click and enter now you're gonna have a JSON file and a jar file you're gonna want to do uh, the same thing we did on the first one, which was the too many items, you're going to do that on both these. So right click, go rename, click in between the dot and the JSON, right click, paste. And then you're going to do the same thing on the top one, rename, 1.7.9, right click, paste. Okay, so that's easy as can be. Now, the JSON file, you should have it open with Notepad. Now, if you're not, if you do not know how to open it with Notepad, you can go right click and it says open with click that and then you can choose mine automatically goes to notepad so we're good there so we're gonna open it up now you're gonna see all of this text do not worry about this there's only one little part that we want to worry about up here in the top left it says 1.7.9 you're gonna want to right click right between the quotation marks and go paste so that says 1.7.9 too many items and go file save Easy as that. So now you can exit out of that. And here on the jar file, you're going to want to open that up. And it's going to say, what program do you want to use? If it doesn't say that, just go like again, right click, open with, and we're going to go WinRAR Archiver. You do not want to open up with the Java platform. It's nothing bad. It's just you just don't want to. So now you can exit out of your 1.9 too many items this, and open up your mod. You're going to also want to go and exit out of here. We can cancel out of this. You're going to want to cancel out of your Minecraft because we're going to be changing a couple things and it could have a little problem. So just exit out of your Minecraft and now you're going to have your too many files mod open 
and the 1.79 too many items dot jar winrar in the 1.7.9 too many items jar it says meta imp you're going to want to delete that so just click on it once and click delete on your keyboard and you're going to click yes now if you're curious on what meta imp is it's just a program that like or not a program it's a deal that prevents you from adding mods to your minecraft it's just, it's not harmful or anything you just want to delete it otherwise it can cause some errors so once you've got that done you can click on your too many items mod and you're going to want to go file select all so that's this all of this is copied see how it does this all of this is and you're going to drag that over into your 1.7.9 too many items dot jar and click OK then it's gonna be doing all this fun stuff now you can exit out of both of these exit exit and you can open up your minecraft now now when you open up your minecraft launcher it should say hold on it's gotta take a little bit it should say ready to play minecraft 1.7.9 too many items now that is a good sign that you have done the mod correctly so once you've got that done, just click the play button, wait for it to load. And once you're in there, you can go to single player, click on any world you want. We'll just do a basic world. Uh, we'll just use a creative world. And then once you're logged in, you can click the E button, or in my case, your inventory button, which is E. And then you have your 1.7.9 Minecraft mod. Now, to turn this on and off, if you don't want it, you can press the O button. So, if you do not see this on the first try, try and clicking that O button, and that should have the mod open for you. So, now, I'm going to do a little bit of a mod on what it is. Um, the Too Many Items mod allows you to change your game mode and etc. like that, change the time of day, you're peaceful, you can give yourself items, it's almost in like creative mode. Now, this does not work for multiplayer. It only works for single player on your single player worlds. So that's a little tweak. Now I'm going to show you here. We're going to save and quit. The mod tutorial is over and that is exactly how you do it. If you enjoyed it, please click a like. And if you're brand new, don't even forget to subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the mod if you no longer wanted it anymore. So you're going to open up your Minecraft again. Wait for it to load. And once it's done, you can click edit profile again and go to open game directory. Here you can go under versions and just delete your too many items. So just right click and click delete. And then you can exit out of that and it will re-say download it. So then that is exactly how you get rid of your 1.7.9 mod and you have it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, I will try my best to help. I am not a genius when it comes to Minecraft mods, but I can get it to work. So if there's a little bug, then that might be on the other end of the provider. But thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you could please give me a like button. And if you even enjoyed it so much, check out my channel for other mods. And don't forget to please subscribe. Also, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye now.